So before we get into that, HTTP only cookies. So I've been talking to a couple of people about this topic, doing my research, and uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm actually talking to somebody from, um, it's F5 Dev Central, I believe. It's like a company that works on web security and they help like publish things for OWASP, which is like the standard for web yeah, protocols and so on. Resource. Yeah, so he's somebody that actually works with them. So I'm actually gonna bring him on a stream. So I wanna pick his brain about stuff, but uh, in my research, I came to my conclusions. I want to go into those. Where are you at right now with HTTP only cookies? Because you started off with uh, the, you want to use HTTP only cookies. That's what keeps you secure. And then you come out with a video, which I love that it's public. You come out with a video basically dogging your old video saying I was wrong or not 100% wrong, changing your point of view. Where are you at at this moment? No, yeah, like when I was learning authentication, I think I flip flopped my opinion a thousand times. Like I would go back and forth on which one to use um, as I was learning more about them. And uh, where I'm at now is I, I don't think it matters. I think you should use local storage or I think you should store in a cookie depending on your application, how easy it is. There's some pros and cons to both. Like for example, if I'm doing server side rendering, I can read a cookie when that's rendered. I cannot read local storage. That's a big difference. But in local storage, I can very easily read the token and JavaScript. That can be valuable if there's data stored in it. Um, if I'm doing an HTTP only cookie, I can't access it with JavaScript. So I actually prefer to use it based on like what makes it easier for the developer um, as far as like coding the application is how I decide. Not it doesn't it doesn't come in as a security thing for me. Okay. So this is kind of where I'm at with that. And I want to hear your idea on this. So in my research, uh, I think the best comment I've seen, uh, this was actually, I think on that post that when I tweeted at you there, basically the idea is that even an HTTP only cookie doesn't secure, secure your application. And the idea was that you can't stop an intruder with a door that's locked if they're already in the house. So the idea is to stop the, let's say in this case, it's an XSS attack because that's really what you're protecting from, which has actually declined in its threat level. It used to be like number three, I believe in like 2012. And this is what OWASP was ranking it at. And they're now ranking it at number seven, as in how, how much of a threat it is to applications. So the theory would be to stop an attack altogether because regardless of an HTTP only cookie or local storage or a generic cookie, because I actually agree with you there, I think after everything, I realize it really doesn't matter. If somebody can get into your system, if they can actually send a request, a malicious request, they're in, it doesn't matter, you can't stop them. So the solution yep. to that would be to clean the data either on the front end or the back end. And that means for anybody that's uh, wondering what that is, that's like cleaning form data, because if you know how an XSS attack works, they're sending some kind of script and then it triggers either in the back end or the next time somebody pulls up a certain you know, form that you submitted or some data, that script gets activated and it takes information from your browser or whatever it wants to do. So it would be to clean that data. So that's kind of where I came to the conclusion of, you're right, it doesn't matter. It's about cleaning form data or on the back end. Anytime a request is submitted before it goes into your database, make sure any extra characters are wiped out, extra precautions are taken. Is that kind of yeah. where you would conclude with? No, I have the exact same opinion because Everyone that tells you that local storage is insecure, the reason why they say that is because of an XSS attack, mm -hmm. which just means that somebody can remotely run JavaScript on your website. And so where that can go bad is if I can run JavaScript on your website, that means I can read your local storage. And so I can read the local storage of somebody's browser and so I can get their token. And if I have their token, think of all the bad things that I can do with that, right? The thing is, if I'm able to run JavaScript on your browser, I can just make malicious requests. I don't need your token. I can just say, send $500 to Don over there. Like I can just make a fetch request. Now, again, they should be setting up their system where if I'm sending a request like that, I have to retype in my password or whatever. But notice like that has nothing to do with whether the thing is stored in local storage or whether it's stored in cookie. So yeah, I am in the exact same place. If somebody is able to remotely execute JavaScript on somebody else's browser, that's very bad. They can do a lot of damage. Like them taking the token is like, it's whatever. Like if, yeah. Like, if, yeah. if they're in, they're in, yeah. Like yep. if, they, if they're able to do it. That's why I love the analogy. It's no point in having a lock on your front door if the burglar's in, it's kind of the concept. Yep. Well, there we have the answer for everybody that was waiting for that. 
Uh, I'm probably going to have to, or Ben, if, I don't know if you will make it at some point, I'm going to make a video on this topic probably and give people tangible ways to actually implement that. Like, let's say five things that you can do to like increase security by 80% or whatever that is, just to kind of enhance yeah. it because security is a moving target. There's, yes. if, if you talk to anybody in security, there's no real secure application. Banks get broken yep. into all the time. Uh, it, it just happens. Twitter, like these companies with yeah. billions of dollars with giant security teams, they get hacked. Yep. Yeah. So we'll just have to put something together on that and try to help people out a little bit.